Now look at it. Ain't this magnificent? Wow. Mm -mm. Nice. Winter is here, my friends. And you know what this call for? Some good old Jamaican red pea soup. Yes, guys. I'm going to show you how I made this delicious red pea soup, right? Good enough for the winter. Keep you warm, you know? Yeah, so let's get started. All right, so here I have some of the ingredients all lined out, right? So right here, I have 454 grams, right, of red kidney beans. Also, I have a pumpkin beef soup mix right here. One can of coconut milk, right? Also, I got one scotch bonnet pepper and four cloves of garlic, as you can see right here. I got my salted beef, right? As you can see on the package, it's more corned beef, but it's the same thing, guys, right? And I'm using 0 0.63 kilogram, right? About a pound and a little. So right here, I have two Irish potatoes, right? One pound of yellow yam. One pound of sweet potato. One kayate, other one known as chocho in Jamaica. Three carrots, right? I have my thyme right here. And I also got two stalks of scallion, right? So let's get started with the recipe. But first, I'm going to wash my peas, right? All right, guys. Before I start washing my peas, let me explain a little more about this pot, right? As you can see in my last video, I unboxed these pots, right? By Starfruit the Rock, right? And actually, this is the one pot, 7.2 quart stock pot. Look at the thickness of this pot, guys. This is pure quality. Let's look at the th thickness, right? This is a solid pot, well built, well premium, right? So first, I'm going to start by cutting my peas, right? cutting the bag, right? I'm just going to add my peas. And I'm gonna wash it, right? After washing my peas, I set my pot on with about half, half the water, right? Half pot of water. And I'm just gonna leave my peas to boil a little. But first, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of fermented seeds, right? Also, my four cloves of garlic, but I actually use the side of the knife and crush the garlic to, to release the flavor and also to get the skin off, right? And I'm just going to leave it to cook, right? All right, guys. So meanwhile, my peas is boiling, right? I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting up my salt beef. As you can see right here, guys, look at this beef. Look how pretty this beef is. Wow, look at it. Alright, so I'm just cutting it in some cube sized bites. Alright. Alright, guys, so after finish cutting up my beef. I'm just gonna wash it, right? And I'm gonna place it to boil for about five minutes. Then I add everything to the peas. After boiling my beef for about five minutes, just to get some of that excess salt out, I'm now gonna add everything to the peas, right? And guys, I'm sorry about the steam on the camera, right? Also gonna add two more cups of water because you know it's soup right so you got to keep adding water as you go because it's gonna boil down right all right guys so I'm just checking to see if my peas is fully cooked right as you can see right here yeah my feet my peas is cooked right so I'm just gonna go ahead and add my coconut milk 
and I'm adding 400 ml of coconut milk, right? And I'm just gonna allow the coconut milk to cook with the peas before I start adding my ground provision, right? Guys, I like when majority of the peas is cooked out in the soup because it gives the soup a rich creamy taste, right? Now I'm going in with my ground provision. So right here I have yellow yam, I have sweet potato, I have Irish potato, right? I'm just gonna add them to my pot. Guys, if you reached thus far in the video, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all the latest videos each and every week, right? Alright guys, now I'm going in with my carrots and my cayete, right? and I'm just gonna allow my vegetable and my ground provision to cook before I start adding my dumplings and my season alright guys I already went off camera and make some dough for my dumplings right and I'm just gonna make some small dumplings. I don't need no, any big dumplings for my soup, right? So I just break a little piece like this and I'm just gonna fold like this, right? And roll it and just use the back of your palm and press, right? So break a little piece again, roll, use the back of your palm, press. It's that simple, guys. Alright guys, so after making all my dumplings, I'm just going to go ahead and stir my pot just to make sure that everything is submerged properly, right? And I'm going in with my thyme, right? My green scotch bonnet and also my scallion, right? I'm just going to go ahead and add 60 grams of butter. Also going to add a pumpkin beef soup mix right now I'm gonna go ahead and stir it to make sure everything is properly blent right now I'm gonna add some black pepper to taste So I'm just gonna taste it to see how much salt it need. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt to taste, right? And you're just gonna ensure that it's perfect. So you're gonna taste it. yes yes guys it's perfect so i'm just gonna leave it to cook just leave the season and everything to cook and be sure to finish in product shortly all right guys look at it now wow ain't this magnificent mm -mm. so creamy so rich look at it nice All right, guys, so you have the finishing product right here. Oh, right, look. Look delicious, right? Tastes delicious, too. I wish if y'all be tasting this right now. Wow. Nice. Alright guys, don't forget to check out Starfruit, right? 
They're the one who sponsor me this part, and trust me, it work out real good. As, as what I was saying, right? This part doesn't stick, right? So I don't have to worry about the soup sticking into the bottom of the pot. Guys, trust me, they are awesome, right? I'll leave a link in the description below, so check them out. Tell me where you went All the messages I sent with no reply